hello and welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to do a flip through of flora and fauna by maria trolley this is the dutch edition and the original title is flora um, i am doing this uh, because i think this book is underrated um, i watch a lot of youtube channels and i don't see this book very often um, I see a lot of uh, Luna, um, Universe, I see a lot, and Botanicum. But this is like a book I don't uh, come across a lot. Um, this is first published in 2019. The second print was in 2020. And now there is a third print in 2024. So yeah, I have the Dutch edition. Uh, it's um, published by Miss. Everything they publish, it's very high quality. The paper is so good. It's the same uh, publisher as uh, the Hannah Carlson books. So yeah, it's um, misscreative.nl. It's very, very good. Um, so yeah. This is my first Maria Trolley book. I had Luna... Uh, Someone gave it to me two years ago as a Christmas present and I gave it to my mother-in-law. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the line art and um, I colored like two illustrations and I really didn't enjoy it. And then I saw um, a, a video of Chell's coloring journey and she mentioned that the older books had bigger images and not that very small... Uh, characters and small flowers so I thought okay I'm going to give it a try again and do a little bit of a flip through um, I saw a lot of flip throughs of other books I think I did it 10 times with each book to pick one because I don't own a lot of books from the same illustrator and I picked actually Flora so yeah if I have the chance I always buy the Dutch edition and I really think this book is uh, underrated. So I'm going to give this uh, a separate video. So maybe you can pick out this book again. Maybe with a different view on it. Um, I'm not a big fan as well uh, for her new style. Um, because it is very, very small. Uh, the new book she has, the shooting start, it's, it's way sim more sim simple simplistic i don't know how you see it in english um these this these images are, are more full um so you have more space to color so thank you Chels coloring journey for mentioning that in the video because she enabled me to uh yeah watch a lot of flip throughs and eventually buy this book in the beginning of my coloring experience my coloring journey, I wasn't a big fan of um, coloring flowers and leaves, um, but now I appreciate it a little bit more because yeah, I am uh, basing with a lot of media and it goes a little bit more quick. It isn't uh, very repetitive. It is repetitive, but because I have like... I base it with markers and stuff, it goes a lot quicker. So, we have some images with a back black, a black background. So, you see, the, the images are like more full, not detailed, but more filled in. Like, this is a perfect image for me. So, this is you have a character, you have some flowers, you have a little bit of a background, you have a border. This is like the perfect page for me. And in Luna, every character was so, so small. I like the, the bigger characters, the, the bigger faces. I have a little bit more space to, to shade. Like in Luna, it was all this. My mother-in-law loves the book, so she did a lot of uh, pages in it. 
your coloring style, your taste, it changes all the time. So in the beginning I was getting rid of my books when I didn't like it, I gave them away. So now I try to buy, I know what I like to color, so I'm a little bit more, uh, how do you see it? I think 10 times before I buy a book, if I like it the 10th time, the tenth time I'm watching a flip through, um, I buy it. Unless it is something I want on pre-order. But like this, I, I did the flip through on YouTube like 10, 20 times. You're not always 100% sure if the book is going to be something you like. Like this is too simplistic. Like this was a lot in Luna. And a shooting star, I like this more. This is like a little bit too simple for me. When you like simpler pages, it's going to be perfect for you, but this is actually more a style I love. This is a great page. to break the spine a little bit this is uh, um, not glued but uh, sewn together stitch bound that's the word so the book is a very high quality she is going to release a new book next year i saw like the cover image and it was beautiful but i want to wait to see um, if it is also like the tiny artwork um, and i have one of her books so maybe i will uh, color in this book to see if i like her art style so much i will buy a second book of hers I mostly own one book of an illustrator. Uh, I have like four exceptions. That's everything. So we will see. Like this is much bigger. You have much more space to shade and uh, it's not all that, that tedious, detailed work. Don't know about the black background, so I like to do a little bit of color in the background, but I give it a try. little bit of seasonal um, images as well not too much but some like this is a little bit too simple for me but yeah And this is uh, the back of the page, so you can see which flower is on the page you are coloring. So if you want a reference picture, um, I bought the Dutch edition because then I saw the Dutch name and also the Latin one. So for me, it was a little bit more easier um, to have like the Dutch name. Normally I don't look up reference photos for flowers, I just take a color palette and wig it, but maybe I will give it a try. We have it, so it is a shame to, uh, to not use it. And this is the page with the birds and insects, and then some uh, animals she drew in this book as well. And this is your testing page. Okay. So this was a flip through of Flora and Fauna by Maria Trolley. 
So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.